Hi guys, I bought this video eye spectacle camera thing and this is what the packaging is. Alright, so I bought about like 34 Australian dollars. Um, yeah, you can uh, read through that and uh, you can have some idea what the details are. But uh, so that comes with. Um, Obviously the camera, the case that comes with the camera, the glove that you're supposed to use to wipe, USB connection, um, that's the packaging that comes with that, and the instruction manual. Now, I don't really use the instruction manual too often because as, need, as far as I'm concerned, all I need to do is just record. And that, that is the most important thing. Um, you can reset the date and time on on that um which i haven't done yet um i'm gonna do a video tutorial uh video demonstration of the camera um and explain um the uh, what, what you're actually viewing and, and and so on so if you like to look at the menu i'll just quickly do a slow pan on this so if you guys want to read that you can all right so there are ways of um doing troubleshoots and and uh, how to reformat stuff using a, a sort of webcam and, and, and so on so um, but <clears throat> um, just as a quick explanation so this basically you press on that button because everything is on the right press on that button you hold on it a blue light appears in I'll just show you from the sun's yeah all right so that's where the small dot where my thumb is that's where the blue light flashes and that's where the red light flashes so basically this is the one that you want to concentrate on once it's solid you hold the button on the back to turn it on you hold it for about two to three seconds and it will turn solid solid blue that will tell you that it's on so you press again, hold it for two to three seconds and it flashes and continues to flash. That's indication that it's actually recording. Press and hold for a very long time and about like with about five seconds and the light turns off. Everything you know that switched off. All right, so that's the right in the middle. That's where the camera is. So I have a 64 gigabit uh, card, micro SD connected here. That's where the USB connection is. So that lasts for about two hours. And the connection, I would probably say that it takes about a six to seven gigabytes of uh, space in, in one entire uh, cycle. If you're recording continuously, same with any other video recorder, you will separate in chunks of 10 minutes, 10 minutes, 10 minutes um at a set amount now if you start and then stop and then start and then stop again um it's all it's all sporadic so there, there's a lot of different um uh, you records on different minutes and uh, different amount of the the video size as well so it's not it's not fixed like if you were to do a continuous loop from the start up to the point where the battery finishes and always the battery will finish before the the memory card is full okay so um, that's something a lot of video cam um, video tutorials never explain to you or video uh, introduction never explain to you about about the camera um, I haven't actually found a detail in terms of uh, how to change to 1080 to 720 and that's important because ugh, come on let's face it I mean how many people would definitely need a 1080 um, recording especially if you want to use it for security purpose you can use it while you're driving, which is the main priority of me getting this, you can ride, use it when you're riding a bicycle, when you're riding a motorcycle, where you can walk and all that stuff. And that will give you the, um, the added security of having a camera with you, especially when on a motorcycle when in Australia. Traffic and the way people drive is... I better not say it before I lose my temper, but that's how it is. So you do always need security whenever you do things and this is always going to be the best um, form of a situation where you don't want to spend hundreds and hundreds if not thousands of dollars to buy cameras for your car where you have to get front rear camera and 
you having the 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 worry of the camera overheating in in summer and and and, and theft and and so on so this is a really good alternative and uh next i'll show you a, a video of uh what you are looking at while you're playing while you're recording this from this uh, camera you can't really tell the feel of uh vision until i plug into the computer to tell but uh at this very moment <coughs> feels comfortable obviously because of the lens is new so everything is clear uh but look at that you know if if you have uh, <coughs> what I'm saying, if you have something that happened over there and you just do that you know it saves you so much money of buying a onboard camera that you know people usually attach here and one rear attach at the back and you know you have a few issues you have the issue of the temperature you have the issue of stuff now obviously if people steal that camera it's not as a big issue as people breaking into the car to get the camera <coughs> And I'm pretty sure that you can uh, have some idea that breaking into the car is just gonna be a living nightmare. Sure, even if you got insurance to claim and all that stuff, the fact is that you won't have your vehicle for a couple weeks. Uh, <coughs> and uh, it being Australia, you're lucky if you get it within a month. Even though if it's just you know just one one window, the hassle is. No worth it <coughs> and uh yeah so if anything happens <coughs> you know what, you know you look at that you can just turn around and look and you can even look at a rear view mirror if you so choose to capture and uh <coughs> anyway that's that's how i would usually view things because i tend to look at the rear view mirror very 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 often <coughs> um Partially, it's also because of uh, the experience I got being T-boned a couple of times. Uh, should I say what? Not T-boned. Uh, Rear-ended a couple of times. T-bone is coming from the sides, either left or right. <coughs> and... <coughs> yeah, I mean, you, you, it's, it's, it's not as, as uh, uncomfortable or as bad of a fit <coughs> as you think. Plus... Bad. Besides, even if it looks bad, the fact is that you're in the car. Who gives a shit what people think? In the end of the day, <coughs> it's and I fucking need to get past, get out of this lane because this lane is overtaking lane, and that guy. See, you can <coughs> you can easily capture that just by turning your head. So. <coughs> On a scale of 1 to 10, I will definitely rate this as a 10. Um, the only drawback would be the longevity of the, uh, of the battery. At the moment, this being brand new, um, I had a previous um, pair and I didn't take it seriously. I just took it as a novice item that I just wanted to test. And <coughs> that I didn't use it for very 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 long time and uh, the battery didn't hold its charge and it fucked so I had to constantly keep it under charge uh, if I want to use it <coughs> but so what the fact is that even if you kept it on charge the entire time when you're driving the fact is that that is why you use it for if there's any accidents you can capture it so <coughs> Plus, if you wear a helmet, for whatever the reason, maybe you can <coughs> use the helmet when you're driving, when you're riding, when you're doing all kinds of activities, and your hands are free. You know, you you, you don't have to hold. Oh, there's a much lane, so let this guy go through. Um, you don't have to hold the equipment. <coughs> you don't have to worry about 
allowing yourself to get all kinds of stupid accidents so <clears throat> that gives you so much better incentive plus the two things which I mentioned in the very first place if there was an uh, uh, temperature wise during summer you can uh, take the camera with you or the spare sunglasses with you you don't have to worry about uh, getting all kinds of applications of <coughs> you getting um, the camera overheating and and uh, not be able to record and, and, and so on so that's partially also the reason why I didn't bother about I, I'm not a car person so I didn't really bother about buying a flash car I mean I drive a Mitsubishi Colt a small car which is really really nip and uh, tuck, um, really <coughs> easy, really nimble, really agile and few it saves me a lot of money so who cares what other people think of what you ride or how you look and all that stuff in the end of the day it's this this whole world is all about money so yeah so that will save you on um, getting the onboard camera and if it's if the onboard camera has issues like it malfunctions or it's short circuits especially like during the heat in summer because like let's let's put it this way you're gonna seal up the, the entire car and it's gonna heat up <coughs> especially in in summer and when the device fails what are you gonna do you're gonna have to strip everything out and then reassemble everything if it's not electrical fault if it's just a camera you can just unplug it plug it back a uh, new one and you have to buy a brand new um, one that is the exact model or same fit or the clam and all oh, that stupid piece of bullshit which what's the point <laughs> this camera um, perfectly well <clears throat> anything happens in a flash of an eye you can just easily turn around and if you need to check on the guy's uh, um, license plate you, know, you can just follow the eye line so much uh, convenient <clears throat> and so much cheaper the other thing is tough. You don't have to worry about it because you're you're wearing it. You know, you can just leave it in in the car. You leave it in the the uh, compartment or glove box, and who gives a shit? Man. Just pairs. cheap sunglasses. Nobody cares. <coughs> so that's uh, that's the testing for you can't really do much of a test I just uh, just turn around look around and show you what I can see so that's pretty much uh, <coughs> how it looks and again now uh, on scale 1 to 10 I give this a bloody 10 it's not only very cheap it's not only affordable but honestly if you have problems <coughs> you can just get another pair and it's gonna cost you so much lesser